to all the people out there yeah, that ever think about buying cookies or think it's just fun, there will be a time where it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Trust where you've lost all your money, where you're, you're, you're asking your mum, your dad for money, or you're asking your friends for money. Like, even people went to school with, like, I remember when I was in school, I used to get some good at my grades. Mm -hmm. Got kicked out of school, don't get twisted. But GCSEs, I had it all smashed. Yeah. And now I'm looking back at the people that I was in the same class with, and they've got money, and I'm asking them to borrow me money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously it's not good, isn't it? It drags you down, it makes you feel like shit. But right now, I don't really give a fuck, I'm gonna go right now. As, go. as you saw me right now, yeah, I was yeah, on the way to a casino, you know what I'm saying? Gambling is not just about taking part in the game, it's also about the side effects it has on a person. By immersing myself in this world, I'll be seeing firsthand what it takes to be a gambler. I'm going to speak to a number of gamblers about their experiences and I'll be playing various games such as poker, roulette and horse betting. When you do roulette, is it, do you just hit the colours or do you do numbers as well? No, just colours. Just colours? Just colours. Yeah. Just colours. But always I start with £20. Always. Always, okay. Always with £20. If I lost that £20, I left. Yeah, you don't carry on. No. You don't no, find no, the urge no, no, to no, no. withdraw more because I'm to win poor, it back. Man, I'm poor. I'm, I'm poor. You're poor. I just spend twenty pound and that's it. So if you're poor, why did you go in in the first place? Ah, uh, because I love the roulette, man. You love I, I, I love roulette. I love play up for money. I love that. Yeah. Because I work so hard for grab this money. Uh huh. And it's like the 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 uh, for for spend that money in that point. Don't you because I can make more money, it, but yeah. it's a stupid game, for no. sure. If you know it's a stupid game, how come do you carry on? What do you mean? How come, if you know it's a stupid game, if you know it's always against no, you... No, because it's for, more for the... You know when you are climbing? You know when you are climbing? Yeah. And you have the, the risk of dying? Dying. I have the risk you of losing my money. you got the adrenaline. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when I was 20, I went for a little stage where mm. I think I had a little bit of a habit. Okay. Uh, I got paid from work and I'd spend probably 250, 300 quid in the casino. Wow, okay. And honestly, probably walked out of nothing. Yeah. In furnace, so. so how much would you roughly say you've lost in like a day or a week? Recently, nothing, because this is the first time I've been in the casino in probably 12 months. Okay. Uh, overall, I've probably lost near on a thousand pounds. Wow, yeah. I'm meeting up with an ex-gambler, Lira, to find out why she decided to stop playing for good. I won like 500 pounds. Really? Okay. Yeah, and I was so drunk and so happy. I've never felt that happy before. And I yeah. was like, like this is 500 pounds I made. <laughs> yeah, like, how yeah, sick yeah. is that? And then by the end of the night, I lost a thousand. So would you advise me to gamble at a casino or in general? Never, I would say, if you're like me, yeah. and you just can't stop in the process, mm -hmm. then there's no way you should ever walk in that place, because that is, that is just dangerous. After talking to Lira, I've decided to take on board the advice, but continue playing at Burger Shop. I'm so glad I stepped out of the hand. You hit on the river, I just realised. Lucky bastard. That was straight draw as well, innit? Oh, fair enough. Straight draw. The more I was winning, the more I was enjoying myself. Oh, no! Oh. Well, well, that's, that's quite a cruel cool slow roll. Very cruel. Cool. That's quite a cruel cool <laughs> slow roll. Why are you going to get so much shit like that? When did you first start gambling? Gambling? Yeah. Well, I, the first thing I want to clarify is that this is not a gambling society. Okay, what, you don't see this as gambling? I don't see this as gambling, no. Well, why is that then? Because I think poker is one of the games, yes, there's an element of luck involved. Yeah. Of course, the cards, you know, as they fall. However, I feel like there is an element of skill. In a cash game, you go in with your queen five and I go in with my kings. I lose to you, fair play. I take another, you know, you know, stack of money yeah. and I play and I want you to go all in with your queen five because eventually I'm going to double up, triple up, I'm going to get all your money. I'm going to get you, you know. I'm going to... It's the day of the Cheltenham Festival and I'm going to speak to punters to get tips on the horses. Any luck so far? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs>
He pulled up. He's what? What? Does he's not in it? Where's he gone, bro? Okay, what do you do here? I'm just a receptionist, so just, just a receptionist. Just getting people in, basically making sure everyone's off age. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any funny stories at all of people winning a lot of money, losing a lot of money? Um, not really, no, but what I always entertain is if I get in at 7 in the morning, the people just come downstairs, don't realise what time it is, see yeah. it's daylight, lose their shit. <laughs> <laughs> it clearly just coped off their skull, yeah. so jaw swinging like a cat flap. Or <laughs> the right method. Do you gamble yourself at all? I do not know. You don't? Even Funny enough, I'm actually an um, ex-problem gambler. So what was that, sorry? I'm an ex-problem gambler. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And I work for the bad guys. Really. <laughs> Do you have any um, stories about those days at all? Yeah, yeah I've got loads. Um, when I was a student, in one night I won £10,000. The next day I lost it all and then all my student loan. I was right at the beginning of the term. Wow. Yeah. Well, how, did, how did that feel? Absolutely gutting. I was financially broke, I had nowhere to turn, yeah. I was screwed, like nearly dropped out of uni because of it. Okay. So did you get like go to rehab or anything? Yeah, or I went to Gam Care, which is a charity which deals with that and they were absolutely fantastic. I went to counselling, banned myself from all outlets and didn't do any more. Wow. And you still got the um, courage to even work in that casino it's to probably not the gamble. safest place for me because I can't gamble there anyway as a member of staff. So oh, okay. it's the safest place for me to be and it's yeah, the only yeah. way to get money out of a casino is by working there. Okay. Well, glad you found that sort yeah. of group. Yeah. Um, what were your family like? When, did you tell them that you lost that sort yeah. of amount of money? I didn't tell them to the extent of how bad it got, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I did talk through and they were very supportive, recommended me all the help. Yeah. And I haven't looked back really since, it's been great. Okay, that's good. And what did you lose that on if you don't mind me asking? Uh, roulette. Roulette. I'm a sucker for it. <laughs> Cut red or black or hit the numbers? Always black. Always black. Always black. After speaking to the casino worker, I plan to call up a gambling helpline for advice. Oh really? Okay, I feel, yeah, that will probably be one of the better options. So what, I would simply go to the casino and sign a consent form saying that um, I shouldn't like, so they wouldn't allow me to be in there for a certain amount of time. You could do that if you like. After calling up the gambling helpline, I'm starting to think that I may have a problem and I am planning to take action on signing a contract with a casino. I didn't sign the contract, but I did win 55 quid. 